So this is a low breast wheel yep. because the well, water, we can't see where the water is coming in now. Yeah, the water is the water's being delivered uh, below the center line, but it's still filling those buckets. If the water was filling the buckets above the center line, it would be called the high breast wheel. If it was filling it at the center line, it would be called the mid breast wheel. Can I shoot you? Oh, sure. Yeah. This is Tom Kelleher from Old Sturbridge Village. He's our expert source here. Uh, and this, what kind of mill are we looking at here? This is our grist mill uh, for grinding grain. It's a 16 foot diameter, 8 foot wide uh, water wheel on the side of the mill is called a low breast wheel. Uh, it's got enclosed buckets or troughs on the rim of it. And the water is filling those buckets um, below the midpoint, making it a low breast wheel. So down in the inside that that woodwork there is the where bottom, the bottom of this uh, four bay, this flume. Okay. And you can sort of from over here to the gate. The doors they lift it up, and by the water stain on it, you can see they lifted it up about eight or nine inches. Okay. To let the water from the pond fill the trough of the uh, the, the buckets on the rim of the wheel. So that the water's coming out the bottom the of this coming chute. The bottom of this, filling the buckets of the wheel. And that water weighs eight pounds a gallon, and so that water's making this side of the wheel heavy. And just like putting weight on a seesaw, is pushing down on this side of the wheel. And as the wheel turns, the buckets are being inverted so that by the time they get to the bottom, they spill the water. So on the other side, here the buckets are right side up. On the other side, they're upside down, so they can't hold water. So the other side is always lighter than this side as long as there's water filling the bucket. Okay. And that's what makes it turn. It's like putting weight on the end of a lever. But being a circle is so, a continuous lever. So it's a continuous lever. Right. So can we get on the inside and see all the stuff that's being turned down there? Sure. 